Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you how you can get some things done faster using the Spotlight menu. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now, of course, you can use the Spotlight menu on your Mac as a quick way to find files or launch apps. Those are the two things that people use it for the most. But there are a whole bunch of things that can be done a little bit faster using the Spotlight menu than the normal way. Now, just to make sure you have access to all of this, you want to go to System Settings and then look for Siri and Spotlight. And then here there's a list of things that are shown in Spotlight. Some of the things I'm going to show you won't work if the item for it isn't checked. So keep that in mind. But speaking of System Settings, this is the first way in which Spotlight can be a bit faster. Normally, you would search here on the left for the category of the item, like say keyboard, and then once you get to that section, look for the setting you want. Like here's text replacements, for instance. You can also use the search field here after you've launched settings. But you can go right to something like text replacements or any part of system settings without even having system settings running. All you need to do is use the spotlight menu. I'm going to use command space here, launch it and then search for that item. So I'm going to search right here for text replacements and I don't even have to finish typing the entire thing. It will show up as a hit here right there, System Settings. If I actually typed more, you could see it's right there at the top. Now since it's selected I can just press Return and it takes me into System Settings and then right to Text Replacements. And this works for just about any spot inside of System Settings. Now another thing you may want to do in System Settings is to toggle something on or off. Like for instance, here's a switch for Bluetooth. I can turn that on or off. Well, sometimes you can toggle things right from the Spotlight menu. So if I search for Bluetooth, you could see I've got the system setting right here and there's the switch. So I could turn Bluetooth off right here. It works for some other things as well. So for instance, for VoiceOver, I get the switch here for VoiceOver. Now your Mac has a built-in dictionary and you can use it using the Dictionary app. So you can launch the dictionary app and then search for a word. But you could just do it in Spotlight as well. So if I search for a word and say a bunch of different results come up, I can jump right to the dictionary definition with Command L. That brings it right there. You see at the bottom there's the definition. Or alternatively I could use Command D and it actually will launch the dictionary with the search for the item I was looking for in Spotlight. You can do a web search really quickly like this as well. So let's say you're not in the web browser. Instead of switching to it and then doing a search, you could just bring up Spotlight and you could search for something like this. And notice that some of the suggestions here show the little Safari icon. So you can click one of those and it will jump to a search for it. You can do the same thing with the keyboard shortcut. Just type what you want like this and do Command B and it instantly searches for that in the web browser. Now if you know what you want is in Wikipedia, you can do Wikipedia lookups as well without even using the web browser. So I could search for a term like this and now I'm going to use Command K and it will quickly give me the Wikipedia entry for this. And notice there are images here as well. There is some facts from Wikipedia. There's links. There's other websites and things like that. And you've got a link right here where I can click on that and it will go to the Wikipedia entry. Now if you have some shortcuts, there are various ways to run them. You can set them up as quick actions, add them to the services menu, add them to the dock, even add them to this little menu right here. But you can also use Spotlight to run any shortcut that you've got. You don't have to set anything up in advance. Just use Spotlight and search for the name of the shortcut. I've got one called Uptime and you can see the shortcut appears right there and it is the first hit so I'll just press Return and it runs the shortcut. So the Spotlight menu could be used as a shortcuts launcher. Now if you want to use your contacts to say send an email to somebody or call them, then you may launch the Contacts app first or go to an app like say the Mail app and start there. But you could also use the Spotlight menu, search for the name, and it will find that result in your contacts. And notice here that you've got these little buttons and you could click them to say Start FaceTime or send a message or call or start an email. If you actually click on this or press return, it will actually dig down staying in Spotlight here, give you larger buttons for those and also things like messages and looking up that person in PDF documents, in mail messages, all their contact information and everything. So just for looking somebody up you don't even need to go to the Contacts app anymore. And you can even add a new contact using Spotlight. 
So one way to do this would be to start typing a piece of their information. Like let's say their email address. So I'll just type a sample here like this. And you could see one of the things I've got is add email. I could click there or I could click the three dots here and actually call them or send a message directly to them. Or I could even click here and go right to the mail app and start composing a message. It also works with phone numbers if you do a good format like this that can't be mistaken for wanting to do math. So you can see here I could add number and it will start a contact with that phone number. This also works for calendar events. You don't have to go to the calendar. You could just go to Spotlight here and you could type a time. So I could do something like say 9 a.m. and you could see here the first thing is to add an event for tomorrow at 9 a.m. But I could get more specific. So I could say uh, 120 to add something on the 20th and then I could even you know, type something to use as the title there and then click Add to add it to the calendar. You can also look for photos in your own photos library. So without using the Photos app you can search for something. And this could be an object in the photo. It could be the name of a person. It could be something in the title or caption of a photo. All the usual stuff you would search for. And you can find the various results right here under Photos from Apps. You can click Show More to go to the app. Or you can click on the individual photo to go to the app and jump right to that photo. But you can even do more than that. You can export from photos without having photos open. So for instance, let's say I wanted to take this photo and export it here to the desktop. I can drag and drop from the Spotlight menu results and you can see it's going to export it right there like that. Or I could drag it to something in the dock like let's say the Mail app and it will create a new message and attach that image there. All without ever launching the Photos app. Now of course we've got a weather app on the Mac but if you just want a quick look at the weather you don't have to launch that app. You can actually look it up in Spotlight. So you could just search for weather for instance and you'll see here that you'll get the weather listed right here and you can specify a location like this and you can see you could get it like that. You could even go into more detail like this. Likewise you can look up sports scores in Spotlight a lot faster than going to the web for it. So I could just type a team name and score like that and you can see it shows me the score of the latest game. You would also track flights if you know the flight ID. So for instance for Delta Airlines uh, 922 I could see it's in route and what time it's going to land. Now even simpler than that you could just look up the time. So this is really handy if you're dealing with time zones. So you want to know the time in Boston right now. Just type that and you'll get it. And another one is to look up stock information and you could just do that with the stock symbol like this. And this is definitely a little faster than launching the Stocks app. Especially if you don't already have that stock in your watch list. Now Spotlight may actually be the fastest way to do math on your Mac at least without having to use your voice like with Siri. You could just bring up Spotlight really quick and just type a math equation and get the result. And you can make the equation really complex as well using parentheses something that's not easy to do when you use the calculator app for instance. In addition you can do conversions really quickly using Spotlight. So for instance I can convert miles to kilometers or gallons to liters or Fahrenheit to Celsius. Now at the beginning of this video I mentioned how you can use Spotlight to search for files. But people that do that may not even know this trick that you can drag files from Spotlight to do things with them without having to actually open a Finder window and go to the file. It's similar to what I showed before in Photos. So for instance if I search for a file with the name Example I could see several of them listed here. Now if I wanted to drag this somewhere I could just drag it say to the desktop or to another Finder window and you could see how it's going to make a copy of it right here. And you could also drag files to different apps here in the dock as well. And in case you don't know in addition to double clicking to actually open the file if you want to actually go to the location of the file just select it and use Command R. And then it opens the folder for that file. And speaking of opening folders this is my last tip. You can use Spotlight as a way to quickly get to folders. A lot of people may think of Spotlight for looking for a file but for actually finding a folder they may open up a new Finder window and then for instance go into a specific folder like that and then maybe even keep digging down deeper. But what if you wanted to go directly to this folder here. You remember its name but you don't want to go through all the steps of opening a new Finder window and digging down to it. Well you could do that in Spotlight as well. So I can search for the name of that folder 
and you can see it's going to come up right there and since it's the first hit I just press return and I go right to that folder. So there are a whole bunch of different ways that the spotlight menu can save you time. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.